The crypto market is a mess. Last week, FTX filed for bankruptcy protection in the US and the CEO, Sam Bankman Freed, got fried. He stepped down as the CEO and this sends the crypto market into chaos as other coins like Ethereum and Bitcoin are all experiencing massive nosedives. Over the past few days, there has been a buzz on YouTube itself, especially on the financial side. With over 2 million subscribers, big names like Andre Jick and Graham Stephan even had a video apologizing for promoting FTX. Just a little background on FTX. It is one of the top, or I should say one, it was one of the top cryptocurrency exchanges that specialize in derivatives and leverage products. One of its perks is that FTX offered a unique affiliate link, and when new users signed up through that affiliate link, the referring user earned 25 to 40% of the new user's fees, depending on the amount of the FTT held. By promoting FTX, you get to earn a few hundred or even a few thousand dollars. And now with the FTX collapse, these people have lost thousands of dollars and millions for others. Even if the FTX liquidates all of its assets, these investors will be at the bottom of the list for payouts. This is because they are considered unsecured creditors. After paying all of those secured creditors, it would be four fortunate if something was left over. But given that FTX current financial state and insolvency level, I highly doubt it. I'm not blaming these YouTubers or anything like that. After all, subscribers are capable of thinking for themselves. It is the subscriber's decision to click the link and sign up. However, considering that you have millions of subscribers trusting you and heeding your financial advice, it is imperative that we as YouTubers do our own due diligence. I have made it a point in all of my videos, especially regarding financial literacy, that while it is good to model your strategy, to those that have already succeeded and follow in the footsteps of those who are financially successful as individuals, don't just follow blindly. Just because I told you that this is the strategy that works since it's worked for me, go ahead and do it without hesitation. You should hesitate. Do your research, experiment, and see what works for you. This is especially true when it comes to investing. When someone says you should buy FTT, they're a good investment. They have a great track record and the company that owns them is very stable with a lot of growth potential. You go ahead and click and sign up without even checking if the statement is true you're doing yourself a disservice. Remember, there is no such thing as a get rich quick scheme. Many of the internet users are going to YouTube hoping for a quick solution to their problems and expecting that YouTubers did their research for them and that they put a lot of work into their content and so their audience doesn't need to do the research themselves. Well, some YouTubers are passionate about their content and genuinely wish for their audience to learn and enjoy. But I want you to remember that are only here for the viewers and the likes. Now remember, I've long warned against Bitcoin and cryptocurrency and I've always said, make it one of your spokes in your investment wheel, but don't put all of your eggs in that one basket. That's all for today's video. And thank you so much for watching. And if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency in detail, check out this video next. Five ways to start investing in cryptocurrency next.